Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So today I will be discussing a very important video regarding suture. So what is suture? The series of stitches used to secure positioning of various wounds. Dead wounds could be traumatic, dead wounds could be a surgical. So this is known as suture. So what is the significance of suture? So there are a lot of significance of suture, but there are three main pillar significance of suture. The first is it is usually used to close the open wound. The second is it is used to maintain hemostasis and the third is it is used to prevent bleeding. So these are the three pillar significance of the suture. Now let's discuss the types of suture. There are two types of suture. The first is that is absorbable suture. The second is that is known as non-absorbable suture. So absorbable suture is a type of suture where it is naturally absorbed in the body and non-absorbable suture is a type of suture where it is not metabolized by body as it is man-made material. So what is the significance of absorbable suture? The significance of absorbable suture is it is usually used for the subcutaneous repair and it is used for intraoral mucosa and the third is it is used for the phagia which is not under tension. While in another hand if we talk about the non-absorbable suture, the non-absorbable suture it is mainly used for skin repair, it is used for the vascular repair and the fascia which is under tension. Now what are the examples of absorbable suture? So the examples are Vicryl, Cadgut, PDS and Monocryl. While monocryl is considered as one of the most common type of absorbable suture. So what are the examples of non-absorbable suture? The examples are nylon, proline, cell and ethibond. And nylon is considered one of the most common example for the non-absorbable suture. So there are some of suture which is lying over here. I will be sharing the detail of this suture with you. If you see this is the proline, I will be consider it in a while deeply and this is a silk while this is a catgut and this is a vicryl. The suture consists of two parts. This is known as suture needle if you can see properly. This is known as suture needle while the thread is known as suture thread. I repeat suture consists of two parts needle and suture thread. Now this is known as suture needle. Now there are two rather there are three parts of the needle. This is the tip of needle is known as tip of needle while this is known as body of needle while this portion where the thread is attached that is called a savage end of the needle. Whenever we try to put the needle, always we will try to put the suture needle by suture holder or needle holder in such a way that it is away from the tip end by 2 by 3 while it is away from the savage end by 1 by 3. So that is how you can keep the suture needle. So let us discuss the vicryl suture. So this is known as vicryl suture. How you can identify it? There is purple packaging and suture itself it is purple. So purple packaging and purple color of the suture identify the vicryl. It is usually used in general soft tissue approximation. It is used in ophthalmic surgeries. It is also used for the peripheral nerve anastomosis. So this is known as catgut suture. Now how you will identify the catgut suture? This is brown packaging and this is brown needle thread. So suture itself it is brown while the packaging is also brown. So it is usually derived from the intestinal tissue of animals that is why it has pungent smell. It is mostly used for the cliff palate surgery and circumcision. This suture this is known as silk. This is known as silk. The packaging is blue. The packaging is blue 
by feature itself it is black i repeat how you will identify the silk feature so the packaging is blue while the feature itself it is black so this is known as silk and it is usually used to ligate the blood vessel now let's discuss the proline suture now you can see here how you will identify proline so the packaging is blue while suture itself it is blue so how you will recognize the proline suture i will repeat the packaging is blue while suture itself it is blue and it is mainly used for preparing the hernias and other soft tissues So that's all for today video do consider subscribing our channel that would really mean a lot to me thank you so much